Eagle 322 rear living outside kitchen here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the offset to the also popular 330 RSTS, which is a triple slide with no outside kitchen. Also available here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So whether you would prefer the outside kitchen of this model or the additional campsite windows of the 330 RSTS, we got you here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, like I said, very similar, and they both have uh, they they both kind of fulfill the same role in different ways. This is kind of what I call a portable park model, and what I mean by that is these big, what, 40 foot, really, Eagle trailers, um, you know, they're between 35 and 40 feet, whatever that comes out to be, they are built <laughs> light years different in, in style and in application from a traditional travel trailer. Like, you're looking at this thing. It looks big, it looks bad, and it is every one of those things. This is what I refer to as a flat deck fifth wheel. It has the, well, this is one of the few RVs where like you have an Eagle trailer, you have an Eagle fifth wheel. They are a part for part match, and that is exceptionally uncommon in this business, ladies and gentlemen. Traditionally, when you see a travel trailer has the same name as a fifth wheel, the trailer is not built to the same snuff as a fifth wheel. This is not the case. And that's one of the reasons these Eagle trailers are so big. They have a seven foot three interior clearance. Understand a normal travel trailer is six foot six inside. This is nine inches taller. And that means it has the same six and a half foot tall walk-in slide outs as a fifth wheel. That means it can have the same refrigerator inside of a slide out. Because you think about it, your fridge can only be as big as a slide. Now, of course, it is a travel trailer. It's got some different things going on here. Like, you can see that they have actually fully enclosed and protected the propane tank system. That's a little bit different there. Now, I don't have the lights on currently, but it actually has the same accent uh, marker lights and, uh, like, orange glow beams as the Eagle Fifth Wheel Series. Even the HTs have those. Now, in an interesting uh, thing here... You've got two outside storage compartments. You already saw the full pass-through. That's the uh, compartment on the left. We already saw that. But you've also got an additional compartment under the bed. And that's where Eagle does it well. Um, you know, Freedom Express uh, by Coachman RV here at Haylitz really does the same thing. They're a, a lightweight brand. They don't have near the insulation package this has. And that's where this is great. The Climate Shield insulation bundle on the uh, Eagle travel trailers and fifth wheels, even the HT series. This is proven, tested, 0 to 100 degree rated. And you see that a fair amount in fifth wheels, but in travel trailers, 0 to 100 degree testing is not common. So this is very exceptional and uncommon in that way. Now you can see something like, we've got the SantaCon uh, waste exhaust system here. My point with that is there are some optional pieces of equipment present in this video. So this may not be the exact one that we have in stock. It's also possible that through the model year, as time goes on, little widgets and parts might change or update over time, uh, which, you know, this footage, the longer it goes, the more outdated it'll be. So always understand this is a snapshot. This is an example, maybe not how every single one of them is. Um, Jayco's Magnum Trust Roof System has the highest weight rating in the, you know, entirety of the uh, RV industry, especially in travel trailers. There's no one else I know of that's making a 4,800 pound rated uh, roof on this. Um, so if you're asking walkable, the answer is no, not walkable, it's barn danceable. Though obviously I don't recommend you have a barn dance up there. Anyway, rear bumper, there is a um, propane line run to the rear bumper if you want to add outside grills. Uh, you can also see that this has uh, uh, second power awning. I believe that's optional. I'd have to double check my options list. I see a lot of RVs, so they get a little muddy sometimes, guys. But the dual power awnings, they both are tilt adjustable. They both have LED lighting, give you max awning patio space. Now, not only does Eagle have LED tail and marker lights, it's got the new uh, Eagle uh, smart lighting system. What that basically is, guys, is your um, extra tail and clearance lights on the sides and up top on both the front and the back. They blink along with your turn signal so that other drivers have a better, clearer understanding of your intentions on the road. It's, it's an awesome safety thing that uh, at the time of this filming is only on Eagle RVs. It'll start to extend through the rest of the Jayco family later on. Uh, we've added the rear accessory hitch on here, so if you want to throw a little bike rack on it, you can. Also very useful for park use because uh, I've noticed that if you throw your bikes and lock your bikes down on a bike rack, even at a park, they don't tend to go anywhere. If you just leave them on your campsite, it's like they're never exactly where you left them when you were gone, like someone took a joyride on your bike. I don't like that. 
So again, this is this right here is one of the main differences between the 322 and the 330 Eagle Travel Trailers. This one has the outside kitchen with the rolled steel countertops and that uh, capital grill, just like their big fifth wheels, um, and the outside TV hookups. You've also got USB plugs in here for like phone chargers. Uh, the uh, 330. It, you know, they just kind of flip the living room around a little bit, and you'll have more windows on this side. So it kind of depends on your goal. But one thing I do want to talk about is the warranty. Jayco has the longest full coverage warranty of any uh, RV out there. Now, there are precious few manufacturers who have matched a two-year warranty. There is no one that exceeds a full two-year camper warranty. There are a few manufacturers that are offering a, a very limited three-year structural warranty. Um, and then you've got Keystone, who offers a pretty good comprehensive three-year structural warranty. My point is they're not all created equal, and you need to understand that what the difference in warranties mean. I've actually done videos on that very topic. If you're curious, give our guys a call, and we can help you break that down. Because we represent products that offer every different type of warranty, and they're all great in different ways. It depends on what the goals are that you're looking to accomplish. And that's how you choose the RV, guys. There's more than one RV you're probably going to like. But which one has the fine details that zero in on the goals that you specifically are trying to accomplish? Accomplish. That's the kicker right there. Bigger 16 inch fifth wheel tires and upgraded suspension. Again, part for part match with the fifth wheel. That's what I like so much about these. And then just the little detail stuff. Everything Eagle does is above and beyond. Everything they do is a step above. Like, They've got a full outside uh, shower spray station. Then on the campsite, they also include that little cold water sprayer just for handy little like hosing stuff down. It's just the extra things they do like that. Like they put their speakers down in the skirt of the RV instead of in the sidewall so they don't have to drill big holes in the wall and stuff like that. And I just straight ran into the trailer behind me. That felt great, but whatever, we'll live. Speaking of living, let's go inside and live it up. Woo! So again, remember what you're seeing here might be a little different from the one that we have in stock. Never hesitate to give our guys a call. Um, you know, we're all factory trained here at Haylet RV. I'm not the only guy around here that knows my way around uh, a Jayco or anything else that we carry. You know, be it the Forest Rivers or the Winnebago's or the Coachman's or the, uh, oh, Keystone. Man, we do a lot of Keystone too. Um, so, like I said, flat deck fifth wheel. What's different about this is, and again, flat deck fifth wheel and a portable park model. Now at 10,070 pounds, there's a good chance you might have us deliver this RV for you. You know, come here, take a look at it, we'll show you how it works, and then we will have one of our uh, drivers hook up to it and uh, get it to a site for you. You know, you can give us a call for a quote with that. Obviously, it depends on where you live and how far we got to take it. But the point is, we do everything here at Halet RV. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer, package deals, and everything in between. So, why this one? Seven foot three interiors give you that extra interior height, which allows for those six and a half foot tall slide outs, which allows for that giant refrigerator, which allows for all kinds of things. I mean, you know, it's a it's a cascade effect. There's a lot of good things that go into this. Now there's different decors available. This one is called cashmere. You have to say cashmere, you know. You have to like like your last name is Weaselton, but not Weaselton, but like Wesselton. You know, oh, wait, what is that from? That's from Frozen. Oh, never mind. Anyway. No wonder that's stuck in my head. My daughter's been watching that a lot lately. So there's different decors. This is one. I like this with the theater seat directly across from the entertainment. What I also like, if you notice how I've got one of these kicked all the way back, well, these are wall huggers. So they slide away from the wall when you lay all the way down. If you want to lay down and crash at night or, you know, if you do have grandkids uh, come over, or guests or something like that, this is a trifold sleeper sofa back here. It's nice and big and you can sleep two adults on that. But grandkids, frankly, they're probably just going to fall asleep on this across from the TV at night, you know? Now, extra little detail things, because all the things in the Eagle are all about the extras, is how they have, like, next to easy reach lighting. You know, because this is a tall slide out. You can't just reach up and click the light on, so they give you a light switch. Now, all that extra wiring and labor and stuff like that, like these extra cabinets and the big windows, all that stuff comes into play a little bit more money than maybe the next guy. This is not the least expensive travel trailer out there. If I was trying to sell you the least expensive trailer, I wouldn't have picked an Eagle to shoot a video on, that's for sure. But everything's the best for a different reason. Maybe what you're looking for is like, hey, this is the last camper I want to own. We got a seasonal site. You know, I'm not looking for something I can tow. I like the idea of that outside kitchen. This, this thing works, and it works all over the place. Um, the uh, TV is what? It's like a big 50 inch or something like that, like a 49 or whatever, but it's big. It fills up this entire cavity right here. But what's nice is the TV swings out of the way, and above the outside kitchen, 
there, uh, there's you know a big storage hutch or whatever there. And not only is it HD capable TV, is they're actually running the HD wiring for you. Nice little Jayco thing that they're doing there. Um, electric space heating, air quote fireplace has a remote control. If you just want to kick it on and not uh, enjoy the heat, but just enjoy the visuals, you can do that too. Um, the dining setup that they use in the Eagles is fantastic. So on the right, leaning against the entertainment center, you see that folding guest chair. You can store that under the bed or in the front closet. There's an extension leaf, and the, the tabletop does lift up for like an easy desk experience. So uh, you can use it like a desk top, which is funny. Not to be confused with like a desktop computer, if you will. I love this. I mean, these the big slide and big windows right on the door side, and especially like if somebody knocks on your door, being able to be like, I see you. You can, you know, check out what's going on. So, um... How, how do they have a longer warranty in a Jayco? A lot of it comes down to materials. A lot of it's craftsmanship. But, um, you know, like we've got a, a 3 8 uh, tongue groove plywood roof deck. Plywood roof deck. You know, you may have noticed Goodyear Endurance tires. We've got a 5 8 tongue groove floor decking. Better materials make for a longer lasting RV. Now, I mean, you take care of any RV and it should last you. The idea behind an Eagle is that it's built better so that you have to do less. Um, oh, the air conditioner right here. Not a lot of travel trailers have whisper ducted AC. And uh, per nerdism number 37, if you can see the square, you can hear the air. This is 70 to 90% quieter centralized air conditioner in this sucker. Um, over here in the kitchen, I, I like this arrangement. What I like about this floor plan is it's wide open. You know, the 330 RSTS it has the island. It's like a normal fifth wheel layout. This one's just wide open, though. And it's nice to have that variance between the two. Now, there is an optional rolling island you can get with this. If the RV that we have in stock doesn't have it, we'll get you one. That's not a big deal. But, um, you know, if, if, if you want it, anyway, if you don't want it, if you're, what you're looking for is a big, wide open space, congratulations! Here we have it. Solid surface countertops in the Eagles. You have residential soft-closed drawers here. Stainless undermount sink. That's a bamboo sink cover on the left with an aluminum uh, roll-away drying rack on the right. And I'm getting lightheaded from talking so much. I need to breathe in a little bit. <gasps> Furion! There we go, better. Uh, Stovetop system here. Now, what I like is most people are right-handed. They got the extra countertop space to the right of the stove. Sorry, lefties. Most people are going to benefit from this, though. Um, unfortunately, if you're left-handed, you're used to the, the world. The world just doesn't like you for some reason. I don't even know why. Same as a fifth wheel. We have a uh, touchscreen little remote control here to operate our slides, jacks, awnings, exterior lights, all kinds of good things. Now, from here forward, this has the exact same bedroom and bathroom as a 330 RSTS. They are identical in that regard. And uh, my vampiric powers appear to be paying off because obviously you're not seeing my reflection in that mirror. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, now, something people ask sometimes in an eagle, why is the bathroom a different color from everything else? And the answer I have to that is, go home. Look in your bathroom. Do the wallboards and ca uh, cabinets in your bathroom match what you have in the rest of the house? And the chances are, no, they do not. Chances are, they are different. And that's where this benefits. Now, um, you know, uh, let me go back to this. So, remember, being seven foot three tall, huge bathroom. Now, you've got that blue LED night light for night use. You've got a corner seat in that shower if you need to sit to bathe. Easy, wide open entry uh, type shower space. Tons of counter space and a backlit morning mirror. There's LED accent lights behind the mirror. Like you see that row of dots reflecting off the uh, um, shower door. That's what I'm talking about. There's LED lighting back there so that you don't have to go blind at night to kick that thing on to see. Now, here's another area they went really different. They went with the same full height slide in the bedroom, and they went with a full three foot deep slide in the bedroom on this big king bed slide. That means you have bigger side breeze windows. That means that we have more storage below the bed. It means that we have more space in front of the bed to walk around and get dressed. Now, you've got a normal sliding um, mirror door closet up front, and on the right side, those slatted doors, those are washer-dryer capable. If you want to throw a combomatic washer-dryer down there, you can. Let me uh, swing back here, just give you a quick little look at the um, dresser across from the bed. I mean, if you've seen a dresser, you've, you've seen a dresser, you probably don't need me to explain that, but there you go. But this is a 70 by 80 true king bed, by the way. Um, I believe that is an option in this floor plan, but I think you're going to be hard-pressed to find one built with a queen bed sitting at a dealership, at least any dealer who does any decent volume of these things, that is. Give us a call. Learn more. This was a quick flyby, and it's cold. 
So I'm probably moving a little quicker than I normally would. In the summertime, I'd spend longer on one of these. But I think we hit all the major high points regarding the uh, construction aspects and the, the different things that set this apart. There's a lot of good RVs out there, guys. They're all cool in different ways. It's just a matter of which one suits you the best. So give us a ring. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, oh, geez. I interrupted our phone number. Our, whatever. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Everybody does everything on the internet anyway. Now, why do I even say the phone number? It's probably... Now I'm wasting... And this is on video. This is... Yeah. Oh, this is going to blooper reel. This is one of my finest moments right here. Did great. Fell apart at the end. Still talking.